As we're moving through the harvest period, we've had some quite tricky weather to cope with. So heavy rain, the first of the storms and winds. So that's obviously impeding harvest progress and making uh, field work for future crops a bit tricky and delayed as well. I've got small areas of spring barley and winter wheat going down, but at the moment, not too bad. And we're getting through the crops now, winter barley all in now, and probably not great yields, but slightly better than expected, and two rows at the, the top end of that. Oilseed rape, we're in a harvested field here, and it's probably the crop that's been the most variable for people, and actually often quite disappointing, so possibly a lack of sunshine um, towards the end there, uh, but yields slightly lower than people were hoping for. Spring barley and winter wheat have been slow to come and some wheat's been brought in ahead of the spring barleys. Um, again, a bit too early to see what, what the yields are, will be like. Peas and beans are beginning to turn now as well, so we're beginning to get through those crops. Uh, and the top's been taken off potatoes as well. And probably the potatoes are the ones where the kind of health check is the most critical. Um, so keeping the blight sprays going right to the end of the season. Um, and we're obviously at the tail end of some very bad virus years. So the kind of need to keep uh, best practice and acicides going on those crops as well. So, you know, we are seeing uh, potato virus Y and potato leaf roll virus coming into crops. So thinking of next year's crop, you know, best, best practice will be really, really critical. In terms of, of future cropping, uh, I don't think anybody based on the experience last year will be holding back on drilling dates. So do remember that if you do drill early, then your risk of some diseases is enhanced and just manage those crops slightly more sensitively. Um, and then a, a final kind of check on grain stores as well. It's a busy time of year. Um, so the need to keep grain stores um, clean and contaminant free and just check grain piles regularly so that they don't start to heat and spoil. Thank you.